All right, coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Anderson Silva. The former UFC middleweight champion, Anderson the Spider Silva, is set to make the walk here tonight. This is a man still getting it done in his mid-40s, DC. Proved in the Israel Adesanya fight that he could still hang in there over a hard 15 minutes with the best guys in the Anderson world. Silva is still able to compete even though he's up there in age a little bit. And that's because of his commitment to the sport of mixed martial arts. He loves competing. He loves the spotlight. Everything that you need to drive you to be able to stay active and stay relevant in this sport, Anderson Silva possesses. Every time he steps foot in the octagon, we get a chance to witness one of the greatest fighters of all time. And when DC needed an opponent for UFC 200 on about 24 hours notice, the greatest of all time was your Huckleberry. Not too bad. All right, here he is, DC. In my mind, this is the most dominant force in the MMA game today. The undisputed UFC lightweight champion, your AKA teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Yeah, and for Habib, it's the well-rounded skill set that has propelled him to one of the longest undefeated streaks in mixed martial arts history. No missteps, no mistakes, no underestimation of opponents. Always prepared, always ready to go, and he can rely on his the coaching he gets, also on the ability that he has to carry him to victory time and time again. Wrestling, samba, jiu-jitsu, striking. The guy has it all. I know you listed striking last, but your head coach, Javier Mendez, says sometimes he's going southpaw in yeah. training. We haven't seen just how good a striker he is. We saw shades in the McGregor fight. Yes. But not complete. But technically, he has so many skills that he has not even displayed to the MMA community yet. All right, another big spot for Khabib Nurmagomedov here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Nurmagomedov is 31. Silva is 45. He is four inches taller. He will have a seven inch reach advantage. We set it inside the octagon, we find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and Jiu Jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of. 34 wins, 11 losses, and one no contest. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil, Anderson the Spider Silva! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of. 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your point. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go. Round one is underway, and we sat down with him on Thursday. He understood the grappling challenge he was up against. He's not afraid to engage on the ground. It's a danger that is not worth risking. It is something that you don't want to play with. This grappler is that good. When this fight gets to the ground, you enter his world. 
especially when it looks like you hold the advantage. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Dermago Meta. You're always thinking wrestling when you fight Habib, but you better be very weary of his stand-up. He's developing the skill every single day. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. So he counters with an effective punch there, and at least in that situation, it came to have the advantage in reach. Straight right hand on the counter is good. Ooh, blocks the shot. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Silva. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on. Under three minutes remain in round one. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Nurmagomedov. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Anderson Silva. All right hook attempt, no good. He loaded up on that right hand too. Nice elbow, I can't tell if that opened up the cut or not. Big punch land. Ooh. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. And there comes the separation now. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. And they separate. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, strong punch there by Silva. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Huge knees here. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. 90 seconds now to go in round one. Jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Straight right is there. All right, single collar tie now, and he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. There's the shot, there's the takedown. Nice single. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Nurmagomedov gets back up, back into his comfort zone. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Nurmagomedov gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. 30 seconds now to go in round one. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, the hook lands. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land anywhere. Five minutes in the books. Right now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round.
All right, here we go with our next round. A lot to be happy about in that previous round. He was attacking the head at will, and until his opponent adjusts, might as well go back to it. There was no negative to him headhunting. Most times the coach yells, don't headhunt, don't headhunt. I'm yelling headhunt if right, I'm his corner, right. because every time he's thrown, he's landing. Single collar tie now. Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing it so fast and so crisp. Oh, collar tie. That was a nice strike. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh! Big knee to the body! Oh, nice overhand left. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there. And offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. All right, so the unofficial fight numbers thus far, 80 total strikes have landed for Anderson the Spider Silver. And landing with 45% accuracy tonight against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Nice punch lands over the top. Nice leg kick. And they separate. Right hand good on the counter. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Ooh, what a punch. Marco Madoff's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do. Man, look at him load up on that right. Back and forth we go. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Liver kick. Great kicks there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Over and over, he's landing these big bodies. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Silva, lands flush. Nice kick. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, Give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook. That's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Big knee lands right to his opponent's midsection. Oh, that's a nice strike. Well, Silva's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. 
Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the ball. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Round three next. was, especially from a striking standpoint, DC take us through. High level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, next round is underway, and somewhat surprisingly, he got out of that previous round without absorbing anything in terms of significant damage, despite the fact that his opponent was pretty offensive. His opponent was very active, but it seems as though he can see almost everything coming in his direction. He's so well versed, he's so skilled in his defensive fighting that nothing is breaking his defense. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing uh -huh. in Tom Brady. Stop it, John. Stop it. Oh, high-level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Silva. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Great punch landed with so much power. Punch coming, it's blocked. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, beautifully placed with the left hook counter. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, man, look at that. Kick and turn, perfect. Got his leg, got his position, got another beautiful takedown. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Silva. Ooh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arms. His arms are free to punch. He's collecting you with his hips and his legs, making you make a determination as to whether or not you want to get grounded upon into the mat, or if you're going to give your back up, where he will then start to chase and choke. A lot of energy expenditure defensively if you are the bottom fighter in this situation. Well, these numbers bottom of your screen, unofficial, but he see these. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh. Yeah, like that right hand. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Oh, knee to the head, that never feels good. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. And he landed the right hand there. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. Nermago Medov gets caught by the elbow there. You know he's... Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down, John. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Nemanko Medov has got full mount now. Well, Silva's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Big body kick land. Oh, big punch land. Oh, single collar tie here. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammates to beat Nemanko Medov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And how he lands early and he lands off. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a Oh, he's hurt. He's got him hurt here. Oh, he's hurt. Back to the feet. Oh, he might be out. Just misses there with the left. Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. He's getting lit up right now, John.
40. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, huge block! Slashing elbow from the clinch. Nice punch lands. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Oh, tags him with the left, so the right hand has been there, now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. And they separate. Fantastic beat down. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. In a very close round, a takedown like that might be the difference. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level martial arts. Ooh, what a punch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. And just misses with that big right hand. Connects with a right. Nermago Meadows. Oh! And now he lands a combination. Back to his feet. Shot blocked there by Nermago Slips that left hand. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice punch lands over the top. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And they separate. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Nermako Medov. There's no tell on that leg kick. Right on the button. Nermako Medov gets caught with that punch. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the... Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over. Oh! What a fight! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 37 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Habib the Eagle, Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.